What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Nerd Manual. Today's Nerd Q&A is from Elijah, and this is a question I've heard a lot in various forms, and I've even asked it myself when I was younger, so it's definitely worth answering. Elijah asked, How can a nerd like me impress some popular girl without making a fool out of myself? Now, I can think of all kinds of good answers about talking and listening, and that's all perfectly valid, but if you're a nerd, you should approach this systematically. Now, this question is from a guy specifically asking about a girl, so I'm going to answer it that way, but the advice I'm about to give applies to any sort of situation where you're interested in another person, so you can just change the genders around to meet your specific needs. Now, looking specifically at the question, the first thing you need to do is refine your goal. Impressing some popular girl is really broad and actually pretty simple. Making an impression on a random person isn't a challenge. But I can read between the lines and realize that you're really wanting something more specific than that, so you need to refine your goal. Do you want to start a relationship with someone popular? Or do you want to start a romantic relationship with a specific popular girl? needs and benefits. Let's consider a situation where you want to start a friendship that might become a romantic relationship with a specific popular girl. There are two people involved, you and the girl. So you need to ask what are each person's needs and how can they be met? Your side of the analysis is easy to figure out. You want to be around someone who is popular, possibly attractive, and she automatically fits that need. But don't stop there. Consider what your other needs are. For example, do you want someone to watch superhero movies with you? Observe her. Now, I don't mean stalk her. What I mean is talk with people who know her and actually talk with her yourself. Don't just walk up and ask, what do you want from a relationship? This might be a good question to ask after you've talked with each other a few times and are comfortable around each other, but it can be very creepy to start off with this. Instead, ask subtle questions like, how are you doing in math this term? Or, do you think Hollywood is overdoing it with superhero movies? These kinds of questions will tell you if she needs help in a particular subject area, if she watches the same kind of movies you watch, or if she thinks they're stupid. Using the information you gather, you can figure out her needs and determine if you can meet them. Once you have information, you can devise an algorithm, refine it through iteration. Initially, approach this person the same way you would approach one of your friends. So if you're a guy, imagine she's just another guy. This will keep everything balanced when you're starting out. You'll have a stable position and also you won't appear creepy. You can actually form a very close friendship with someone just by fulfilling one or two minor needs. Start with easy things like offering brain power on specific topics that her other friends are unfamiliar with or providing a different perspective on something like popular culture or fashion. As you fill these surface needs, talk with her, listen to her, pay attention and learn about her other needs. During this process, evaluate your ability to fill them. This is where you start to impress her. Anyone smart can tutor her in physics, but not everyone can engage her interests. Keep up this process of listening and assessing. If you're fortunate, she will enjoy a lot of the same things you enjoy, and you can do them together. Congratulations, you've now impressed a popular girl. But you need to include an interrupt in your program. If you find yourself in a negative sum relationship, disengage and start over with someone else. Signals of a bad friendship include things like you do her homework while she goes out with other people, or you're only allowed around her when no one she knows is around or she talks about her interests but never wants to hear about yours. It's easy to believe that all you need is a pretty girlfriend, but you really should look for more out of a relationship than a popularity boost or eye candy. Be fair though, tell her about the things you would like in your friendship and give her a chance to provide them or not. If she can't or won't meet your needs, then adjusting a relationship doesn't have to be traumatic. It's okay to be direct, but be polite. Point out her good qualities, then explain that you need to spend some time with other people who will meet your needs. And know when to stop. If she makes it clear that she has no interest in you, walk away. Pushing yourself on people is bad behavior and it makes them feel uncomfortable. 
even if she's not interested now, you want this girl to be comfortable with you because the situation might change in the near future. Here are some signs that a person has no interest in you. She says, I'm not interested. She rolls her eyes when she sees you approaching. She moves away from you. Or she makes excuses not to do things with you. And finally, here are a few tips. Popularity changes rapidly and takes a lot of time and effort to control. A person who only cares about popularity will not have time for you. Be honest. If you're pretending to like things or hiding things that you do like, then you're deceiving this girl and yourself. At some point, she'll find out that you're being dishonest and she won't be happy about it. So save yourself some heartache and start off being honest. Make sure you know what you really want. Here's a hint. It's not a person. It's what the person does for you. And finally, make sure you're getting what you really want and that the other person honestly wants to give it to you. Elijah, I hope this helps you out. And if anybody else found this useful, please drop a like. And if you've got your own questions, put them down in the comments. Thanks so much for being here with me today, and I will catch you guys next time.